If you are relocating here to the North Dallas area and are struggling to find your next house, you won't want to miss this video. We're going to be comparing Aubrey versus Frisco with a budget of $450,000. So stick around. Let's go. Hey guys, before we go any further, this is Carla and Gus and we are realtors here in the North Dallas area. We help families just like yours to relocate to this area to buy and sell homes and invest in the North Dallas area. So before we go any further, please do us a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help us out. All right guys, so uh, here we are. We're gonna start comparing a few properties here in the city of Aubrey versus what you get in uh, Frisco for the same amount of budget, which we're looking at under 450,000. Uh, uh, so here we are, we're gonna be uh, starting with the city of Aubrey. So let's look at, um, you know, what you can get here in the city of Aubrey, um, you know, under 450 with uh, four bedrooms and under. So as you can see here, we have uh, right here, 92 results. So this is what we see. Uh, this is uh, completely different than what you see on uh, Zillow, Realtor.com. This is uh, straight from the MLS. So these are gonna be reactive, um, up-to-date results. So let's start looking at uh, some of the results here. So we have uh, 92 results. Um, we're gonna pick a property here. Uh, let's look at the community of Sandbrook Ranch that we can, uh, just because we are familiar uh, with this community. And we've done a lot of videos with this, uh, this community. So um, let's uh, let's look at this property right here. So not only because it's in Sandbrock, but that was our very first one that came up at 450 with the four bedrooms. Right. Because the one before that had three bedrooms. So we want to make sure that we are getting as much as possible. So four bedrooms is very common for a buyer right now. It's... Um, you know and realistically the price of 450 is kind of the average right now because not everybody has six or seven hundred thousand dollars to go purchase a home right now with right. interest rates being up it's just not feasible for a ton of people so yeah let's start looking at this one i mean it's a, a you know it's a newer house built in 2020 um just under 2,000 square feet four bedroom two full bath uh, let's look at the pictures so you guys can start seeing here um you know and we can talk about it so what do you think about the curb appeal so it's got nice curb appeal you're looking at a brick home um as mentioned before this is sandbrock ranch so we know that they don't allow any investors or rentals in there right so it's definitely going to keep its um market value up yeah, for versus sure. other communities in aubrey yeah for sure this we know specifically is a highland home because we're very familiar with them yeah. So you're going to have the high ceilings. You're going to have great, um, a great building material. They yeah. just, they don't cut any corners. They really do build their homes very, very high end quality. Uh, as you can tell the flooring as well, uh, that wood look, it looks like maybe it's probably going to be a luxury vinyl plank. Um, but again, this is, you know, a pre-owned, so you can kind of see that they did um, some But it's only three boundaries. years so, old. Yeah, that's not bad. So, I mean, it's a pre-owned, but it's still fairly new, you guys, and it has a gourmet kitchen, so you've got yeah. the built-in microwave and oven, you've yeah, got quartz countertops, and that looks like a great kitchen. Yeah, it does, a lot of cabinets, for sure. Uh, so let's look at some of these uh, pictures here. So, oh, so it looks like they have yeah, a double, double oven. oven so we have an <laughs> oven here oven here microwave um, pantry walk-in pantry there uh, so it's all one story one level uh, open floor plan right mm -hmm. you've got some bay windows um, still I mean overall the house looks great yeah high ceilings are those plantation shutters they are yeah, plantation, they are plantation shutters, shutters which is great yeah um, upgrading point of view, like you definitely, that's something you want to invest in. Plantation shutters will always bring value to your home. Yeah. So it makes the house look also really, really good. Um, yeah, it's the master bedroom, master closet here. Um, looks pretty big. Here's your master bathroom, dual sink. You get this uh, nice knee space right here, uh, vanity space. So let's just scan through these. You get a drop-in tub, which is cool. Looks like that's a bedroom. Looks like bedroom. Bedroom. They're using it as a. Again, so you want to forgo yeah. the pictures because 
pictures don't always show its best so as a buyer with a very tight budget you want to make sure that you're looking at the structure of the home and not just the furniture that the seller has or the right. aesthetics yeah. because those are minor things you know a wall you can always paint it right um so you want to make sure that you're looking at things that you don't want to change or that you can't change like structural options like carpet replacement yeah. that's going to be costly yeah um, obviously you can't do anything with the layout of the house so right yeah. but you know don't pay too much attention to the seller's belongings right because they're not going to be there so so here's a cool view of uh you know an air view of where the house is located i wish they would have done the little arrow oh yeah the little arrow so this is some photos of the community Got uh, fishing ponds there. This is your amenity center. Um, amenity center with the pool. That's your pool right there. So, okay, so this is what you get. I mean, they do have a gym inside the community, a playground there, a tree house. Um, so, that is that house here in the community of San Mark Ranch in Aubrey for $450. So, so overall, you're getting a great home. I will say, if you scroll down, let's see how many days it's been on the market. So 48 days on the market. So 48 days on the market. Go ahead and scroll back up. Um, so as a buyer, you know, I'm in the market. I'm looking to pay 450 and I can't go over that budget, but I need four bedrooms at the very least. All right. So I come to my realtor and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm at top of my budget, but the market's, you know, the market is changing and right. this house has been on the market out 48 days yeah is there room to come in lower or do i need to come in at 450. well if uh you know as a as an agent you're asking me as an agent yes say i'm the buyer you're the buyer and um my i mean budget I, is 450. i see 58 days in the market um was it 40 or 58? 48. 48. okay um that gives i mean that's an indicator that i can probably negotiate the price a little bit and obviously i would run some comps to see what other similar houses have sold for um well let's look at another one in aubrey maybe not sandbrock now sandbrock is um pricier than most of the other communities here in aubrey because right. again they don't allow rentals or investors um so they are a little bit higher priced. Let's go look at that Aubrey Creek States. So in Aubrey Creek States, a different community, you do get more square footage. Another, you bathroom. get another bathroom. Let's see if it's uh, This is a new build. This is a new build, uh, 2023, incomplete. So it's a three full bath, four bedrooms. Land is about the same size. So you're looking at 45. It says a 40 uh, foot lot. So it's a 40 by 120. Um, the previous home was at a 45 foot lot, so. Um, but let's look at, I don't know what kind of pictures they're gonna have here, but let's look at it and see. Um, these are very bad pictures, guys, so I probably won't, I probably won't be able to tell that one. Um, okay, so it looks like you come in, you've got a study, you've got a breakfast nook, a kitchen, a family room. So this is a two story. And okay, looks you've like got a some, fireplace. some options here. So I would have to contact the builder and see if, uh, you know, if this was included on there, if they did it, the deluxe kitchen, what they call it. Um, so it looks like this is your second floor. It has two a bedrooms. game room, mm -hmm. two bedrooms upstairs with a full bath. Um, showing you the, so it's a pace, pace setter homes, which we're kind of familiar with. Um, so yeah, new build, two story, um, you know, 2,300 square feet. So different builder, of course, different community. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's 194 square uh, foot. per square foot. You do get an additional bathroom. Yeah. So again, you're in a different community, but if budget is a real thing here, then you know, you, you want to make sure to get the best for your money, right. um, depending on your needs. So if you're looking maybe long-term, maybe you do want Sandbrook. If you're looking to maybe invest in a home, maybe Aubrey Creek States is right, or maybe you're just looking to purchase your first home. All right, so we've looked at two in Aubrey. Mm -hmm. Let's go into Frisco and see, here we are uh, in the city of Frisco, uh, budget of 450. Um, should I just click on this first one? See what? So uh, something I want to point out before we start clicking is, yeah. you know, 
without being unrealistic about expectations, I see that I can't get a four bedroom. There's no, and there is, and here is our daughter right here. Real life. So. Real estate from home. <laughs> I don't think he's anyway, anyway, so that was our daughter. You okay. Know, let's just. So, yes, back to your point, you cannot get a four bedroom. Right. So there are times where, um, you know, somebody will contact us and they're like, well, I absolutely have to have a four bedroom and I have to be in Frisco and I cannot go over 450. Like this is, we're not making this up. You guys, you can't, right. you know, unless you decide to move some things around where maybe you're okay with a condo or a town home. Right. So your money can just really go such a long ways if you're willing to maybe commute a little bit. So something that we try to tell all of our clients always is to look at the big picture, you know, so they're, you know, like, oh, I absolutely have to be in Prosper because of Prosper ISD. Well, there's places in Salina that still feed into Prosper ISD. So it's all about location and budget. Right. Yeah. So let's go into and start seeing the first. Okay, so we got a single family. So this is uh, built in 2006. So obviously a uh, much older home, uh, 1750 square foot. But this is only Square a two feet. bedroom, two bath. It's a two bedroom, two bath. Which is, so, in my eyes, ridiculous. I mean, it has, it looks like it has nice curb appeal coming in, uh, you know, there in the front. But uh, let's take a look at some of these pictures. Obviously it looks a little outdated with the color. Throws me off with the color. Um, but you know, you, if you are, if you really want to be in Fresco and you're okay doing a couple of upgrades, hey, why not? I'm losing two bedrooms. You're losing two bedrooms. That's quite a bit, actually. Um, so this go. is We're a great building. comparison to, you know, Aubrey that's only a couple minutes away, what you can get versus Frisco. Right. Yeah. So here we go, seeing, um, you know, some tile flooring there. Looks like that's one of the bedrooms, front entrance. This is pretty cool. So at the end of the day, it's would you want to lose two bedrooms and pay the same amount? So and have to do upgrades. Clubhouse. So mm -hmm. Del Webb. Oh, so Del this Webb. Is this is 55 and over community. This is a 55 and older community. Yep. Let's see the Del Webb right here. So let's look at another one. Here we go. Okay. So this house is 1,500 square feet uh, for 450. So it's almost 20 years older. Yeah, so it's built in 96. Let's uh, look at some of the pictures and and let's see. So you do have a popcorn ceiling here, um, which, you know, no new builds is doing popcorn ceilings nowadays. So that's very... Um, I will say old. with older homes, though, you do get larger bedrooms. Yeah, we do. We have noticed that, huh? But again, I mean, you're having to spend money in updating this home versus... Yeah, yeah. like the gold here that's very outdated. Um, I don't see that in new builds anymore. Here's a backyard. So you probably do get a bigger backyard than what we saw there in Fris in uh, Aubrey. Um, so this is a back um, entry garage. So it looks like there's an alleyway there. Um, but that's the pictures. That's what, that's what you get. In Frisco. So you are losing a bedroom. Losing a bedroom, yep, for sure. Let's see. Should we look at another one? Yeah, well, the one next after that. Yeah. Down below, just under 450. Let's look at this one. Just a little bit more square footage. This one's actually a newer one, 2021. So this is Two actually bedroom. a townhome. This it's is a this is a townhome, but it's a, a two bedroom home. with three baths. So again, you're losing space. So if you absolutely need four bedrooms, this is just not gonna work for you. So yeah. being in Frisco may just not be the plan. So what we're trying to show you guys is just what a huge difference it is. And commute wise, I mean, it's maybe like 15 minutes, you know? Um, right. But I mean, it truly is a huge difference whether you're going to Aubrey, whether you're going to Frisco, Aubrey's still a growing city. Yeah. So you've got growing pains with all the traffic and whatnot, which does help keep prices lower. I do feel that once everything gets put in, prices in Aubrey are probably going to increase. Yeah. So, Just a side note, these are 
horrible pictures, okay? Uh, our listings do not look like this. Um, this will never happen <laughs> in one of our listings. But to each their own, right? Every... It every, is fine. Is this a bra? No. What is this? I don't, it's a trash bag. Toilet paper or bra? So... Why would you mind even go there? Like the first thing that... Why? I'm just saying. I mean, this is this is active on the MLS. You can see this anyway on Zillow. Like if but, you know, it's weird. No, just we would never uh, do this to our listings. But hey, the point is we're comparing, and the drop uh, actually they dropped the price from uh, 484 990 to 449. Yes. Yeah, so that's another thing to consider. Um, the market is dropping pretty much everywhere. It's trying to correct itself. Um, you know, is it a good time to buy? People ask all the time, you know, here's, it's it's so different because you can never just say, hey, it's a great time to buy or it's a great time to sell because each person's circumstance is very unique to theirs. Right. So if you can afford it comfortably, not like you're gonna set, you know, sell a kidney for it. Mm -hmm. Like if you can comfortably afford to purchase a home right now, Yes, absolutely. Why would you right. not want to? Right. Look at um, it as a long-term investment. Uh, be careful there. Look at it as a, a long-term investment. And um, and then, yeah, if you can afford yes. it now. And you but if you can't, then no. Do not purchase a home right now with these crazy high interest rates. Like, that's never a thing. We're always going to have our client's best interest at heart. So if somebody were to come to us and say, hey, you know, my budget is... 350,000 and I have to have a four bedroom and I have to be in Frisco, it might not be the right time for you to purchase a home. Right, unless you can, you know, play around with the areas. If you don't have to be in Frisco, you can be in different areas. Yeah, I mean, let's let's look at your options. Right, but um, nobody should ever feel pressured to purchase, especially in this kind of market, because I know it's, and I say this just because we've, we've heard so much recently like, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? So it has to be very specific to your certain circumstance and situation. Right. Like we get calls from clients saying they, they have to relocate, they don't have a choice. Right. So, you know, if the company's helping pay for it and stuff like that, it's, you know, yes, absolutely. If you can buy comfortably, absolutely. Right, go for so, it. So um, don't ever be steered one way, unfortunately, there, you know, by somebody who's like, hey, you know, if you don't buy right now, you're definitely gonna miss out. You definitely wanna buy. That is probably one of the worst things to do as a realtor is to pressure our clients into purchasing or selling when they're not ready. Okay, so hopefully that was some really good information for you guys. If you guys are thinking about relocating to the North Dallas area, and if you guys, you know, have any other cities that you guys want us to compare, like drop the comment below so that we can do more videos on that if you guys wanna see more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, appreciate you guys staying to the end of the video. Uh, let us know your thoughts, leave your comments, like you said, and don't forget also to uh, hit that like button, subscribe button, and that notification bell as well. It does really motivate us just to continue, continue to shoot more videos uh, for you guys, our audiences. So uh, we appreciate it. Uh, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye.